The Tumors Corner Auburn fans are familiar with has taken on a significantly different look this week as landscapers, horticulturists, and tree service experts begin the remediation process from the poisoning. The work being conducted is part of a collective strategy of a newly formed university task force. It involves horticulturists, agronomists, uh, of the agronomists, we've got uh, herbicide experts, we've got uh, soil physicists, we've got chemists, foresters, and we've got people in environmental safety. We developed a plan of attack, how to address remediation of the oaks. Really helpful. Professor Gary Kiever and many others on the Auburn campus have received hundreds of suggestions from off campus to save the mighty oaks. We're very appreciative of those and uh, and I, I have to apologize that I have not been able to return all of the emails. I haven't been able to answer all of my phones. My answering machine is full now so no one else can leave messages. But I, I hope to let people know that, that I am appreciative and, and, and the whole committee is of the work that uh, are the suggestions and the offers of, of help that we've had. Tree service experts have been brought in to help remove contaminated soil away from the roots. More activated charcoal will be added after the herbicide-ridden soil is removed. Kiever says the task force is doing all it can, but it still might not be enough to save the trees. Now, during this period of growth, there's going to be rapid water and nutrient uptake through that tree, and along with that, any remaining herbicide or some of the herbicide that would be in there would also move up through the tree. As that moves up into the tree, eventually the foliage is going to interfere with photosynthesis and we're going to begin to see symptoms on the leaves. Now the severity of the symptoms are going to be a function of how much herbicide moves up in that tree and at this point we don't know. But I would expect the symptoms to, to begin to appear by April at the latest uh, and continue um, possibly, I mean it's, it's really at this point I don't know how long they might continue.